toes till I get up. Time is belly. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'll be sharing with you what? Sharing with you my top favorite brow products. I don't think it's gonna be a long video. Might be kind of short. I don't know. I don't want to ramble too much, but yeah. I thought this would be a good video to do because I always get a lot of compliments on my brows. And when I tell people what I use, they're usually like, what is that? Or what? You really use that? And I'm like, yeah, I use like simple stuff. <laughs> but um, I don't know what to say. I'm like retarded or something. But yeah, I got a good amount of products here. They all are really good and I use them like all the time. Like I'll transition out from one to the other i'll use two maybe at one point but um these are my go-to products i have some high-end then i have some super super drugstore which you would never know that are brow products but yeah if you want to see what my top brow products are then just keep them. okay so the first product i think is like not that predictable everybody's used it everybody know what it is and it is the anastasia beverly hills brow definer I love this one better than the brow is because the tip is like slanting. It's really thick. On the other... Whoa. That broke. On the other side, you have a spoolie, which makes it really easy to use. So you have to use like two things at once. But I really, really enjoy this. This is what? $23. I think it's a little more than the other. But um, like I said, I really do enjoy using this a lot just because of how it is now. I don't know. Just that angle and then it's just much bigger and it's easier to work with this i would i mean like i don't use it as much because i don't want to keep spending 23 dollars on an eyebrow pencil i mean it's really good but you know i gotta slow down i read this i like pomades sorry I'm moving the camera i like pomades a lot because they actually stay in place you normally don't have to set it as much but i still do and like i said the dark brown this dark brown is a little darker than the pencil which I like so let's say I would outline with the pencil and then I can go in and like you know fill in any sparse areas with the pomade it's really nice you know it's very creamy it doesn't like stick you can actually have a good amount of time to move it around and place it wherever you want on your brows um this is $18 so it's really not that bad it's cheaper than that but like I said if you're a beginner I wouldn't start with this I would start with maybe like a pencil or powder just so that you can get the hang of it and then I would move on to this but I mean this is still really really good okay those were like my oh no I have one more high-end brow product and this has been like a new love of mine oh my god the kids are like screaming at each other <laughs> um this is a new love of mine this is the benefit cup brow I just got this like I think two two months ago this is another pommy got mine in the number six I, I love them much the only thing I don't like about this little thing is the brush. I think this brush sucks. I mean, you can put it here and just like work with it, but I don't like the brush. I use my own other brush, but the only downside is the brush. I hate it. But the actual product itself, this is the only thing that I can use by itself. Like, I mean, it sounds a little like you're yeah, like, what? But I have to use uh, like two things sometimes to do my brows. But when I use this, that's it. I only have to use this. It's dark enough to cover everything. It looks so natural, which I love this and the, the other dip brow. These look the most natural on me. I love it. I love it. This is, I forgot how much, I think 23, 23, 24 around there. But you know, Benefit just came out with like a whole new brow line. Sorry, I'm hot. A whole new brow line. And I mean, so far, this is my baby. I really, really enjoy this. All right, moving on to drugstore. My first favorite drugstore product. It's another pomade. <laughs> I'm like pomades. I love them so much because they look so natural. This is the Milani State Put Brow Color in Dark Brown. I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, I got up in there too. Really, really enjoyed this. This comes with a brush, but I don't know where is the brush. Do I have it here? I do. So comes with this brush which i really like i like to use these together like i have another eyebrow brush but these two together match made in heaven the brush is so little and it has a spoolie and you know an angled side this product is really really good if you're on a budget i would definitely go for this this is about seven dollars and like i said 
it, it could be drugstore, but I mean, this is the, by far the best drugstore pomade I have used. I really like it. It's easy to work with. Um, the color, I could go like a little a shade darker, but I couldn't find a darker shade, so I just stay with this. So I'll like outline this. I'll fill in a little bit, and then I'll go with like a little powder on top just to set it in place. This doesn't move. And one time, the first time I used this, I went to work, and this one I used to work in a restaurant. It used to be like really hot. It did not come off whatsoever. So, ladies, you need to try this off. I didn't even have to set it. That's how good it was. It just stayed. From when I left in the morning until I came home 12 o'clock at night, my eyebrows were like popping. Like, God, you got to try this. You have to try this. Love this. The next pomade I have is from Ardell. And I actually, um, I saw somebody using this in a video. I forgot who it was, but she said this was awesome. So I was like, let me go try and this is what it looks like. I like get in everything. You see, I love pomades. I'm like getting all in it. This pow I mean pomade is really, really good. I really like it. This also comes with a brush. The brush sucks, but the actual product is amazing. So if you are on a budget, guys, I would either get either or if you can find them. They both work really good. You do have to set this one. This one you don't have to set, but the Ardell one. This is super, super creamy. So it's not like very thick. So you can actually like layer this a little bit, I would say. You take a little bit, you can start, and then you can layer it. And I mean, that's the, the good thing. The other ones, if you layer them too much, they look a little, this one you can actually layer it because it's so thin and creamy. So it really gives you the best natural look. I enjoy this one so much. The next product is my baby. Uh, I mentioned this in my ride or die makeup tag and this is my kiss eyebrow kit I've gone through so many of these it's not even funny when I was trying to learn how to do my eyebrows the struggle was real this is what I started with I started with this and then I moved on to this but then I always come back to this so this is like my number one my number one top brow product it's like the best powder ever did I use this today I did. Sorry, I'm like, wait, did I use this today? I did use this. I used these two today. So what I did was outlines and then I filled in with the dark, the darker shade. And this, guys, this is like $5. I'll link it down below so that you guys can um, find it. I'll link every one of these products I mentioned down. But, I mean, for beginners, you need this in your life. Even if you're a pro, you, you need this in your life. I like I'm obsessed with this product so much. I hope this never stops selling. Like I hope I will die. You got two shades. You got a nice dark, dark brown and then a brown. And then you have a highlight shade, which I thought was really, really nice. Usually they bring like a little concealer or something, but being that this has, you know, a highlighter that you can highlight your brown bone with, it's awesome. I'm like, I love this. So I really think out of all the products, what I would rec recommend the most, if you can find it, is this or oh, I recommend this because these two, these are like, this is one and this is two. I love them so much. Set the brows. My top products. Oh, wait, I have one more before that. I do have one more. The L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I love this pencil. This is another one that I can use by itself. It's a little, can you see it? This is the only one that I can use by itself. The only pencil that I can use by itself, actually. So I can just outline and fill in, and it will make my tails dark like this, which I really like. That's what I was trying to find. I was going to um, get the Anastasia and Ebony, but I think that might be too dark. This one I have in the shade, um, what is it, Dark Brunette? Uh, yes, Dark Brunette, which works fine. They have Brunette, but then I saw Dark Brunette. I was like, ooh, that might work. This one... I think it's $12, 12 or something like that. I don't know. But like I said, I'll link everything. The tip is so little. But you can get up in there. And it makes like such natural hair like strokes. I really enjoy this. L'Oreal was stepping up their game, man. This product is like the bomb.com. The bomb. Let me just show you some, show you some swatches comparing the two. So you can see the shades. Oh, I know I broke the tip. I broke the tips. Let me show you what I mean when I say this one is too light, but the other one is perfect. Let me just show you. 
sorry i'm like all over the place as always but the bottom ooh, the bottom is the l'oreal and the top is the anastasia as you can see this one is just a tad like i mean it's darker than this which i mean it looks like a major difference this one almost looks like black which this one looks like so much like brown but i can try to mix these two maybe i'll try to wear these two together i haven't tried that but that's what they look like side by side and then the last two are <laughs> you already know the next tinted brown mascara in espresso and then i have the brow stylist plumper in brunette this one i love how these wands are like so small so you can just get up in there set the brows really nicely as well as the next one the next one is a little bigger but i really really like these i used to use the clear brow gel from maybelline but after a while using it i did notice my um my brows would look really really dark which i hated like they would look nice but then they would be too dark for my face so when i discovered these these actually they are lighter than my actual you know hairs so it just lightens up the brows a little bit so they don't look as harsh and it gives them just a tiny bit of color you can't really tell but i like how it just lightens it up a little bit and it doesn't look so harsh and dark so i really do enjoy these the next one is cheaper but i mean they both work well so if you can get your hands on either two i would recommend it i did want to try the anastasia gel I still haven't gotten it yet i might try to get it but as of right now i'm stuck on these two love also this video wasn't long <laughs> it wasn't long yay because i'm hungry <laughs> always hungry so yeah you guys those were my top um brow products hope you enjoyed this video hope you got a little bit of help from this so you can actually see what's out there in the drugstore i really love drugstore products like they're like the bomb and they're actually stepping up their game so if you want to have popping brows and be on a budget any of these products will work well for you um i will do an updated brow video because i have a series coming up which i will include that in that's why i didn't show demos but i will have one coming up very soon and the look that i'm wearing today i actually filmed it and it will be up tomorrow so stay tuned for that i'm sorry itchy but yeah, I don't want to talk so much and bore you guys. So thank you much for ugh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to be a part of that giveaway. We're almost there. And yeah, until next time. Bye guys. Yeah, no, I don't